hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to use player press to locally save the options menu or data integer string and float so that's the three types of which you can save others you can't save it's easy way to save in unity it creates a local save so here i have a simple ui setup i don't have any code yet uh, so uh, i just added here on click event but no code and um, here for string input field we have content type as standard and for float we have content type as decimal number and for integer we have content type as integer so that's normal setup and i have just set it up save load and clear and delete all button delete all button basically means to delete all saved prefed and clear button will clear this things which box and that's what it is basically see will save the things and load will load so first thing you need to have is this event system which will be automatically created when you have uh, made canvas object so you need to add a script on it wait let me remove this what is this yeah you need to add new script on it new script and let's name it as ev as well as, as short form and create and add this will create the script and where the heck it is yeah i just drag it into this folder yeah now it's in here and just open it in visual studio and you don't need this update and start method just remove those and uh, we need to import a uh, class over here that is you using unity engine oh sorry engine dot ui that's for that's basically for uh, ui objects like text input field text and other stuffs which are in ui image and render and stuff like that so here first thing we are gonna create is a variable or three variable for our three or input fields so let's create three variables first so they are gonna be public uh, input field input field oh not input input and just name it uh, i'm naming it s1 for string variable input and then one more public and f1 this time because uh, this is going to be for float variable uh, or float variable input and one more time public input field this is for integer variable input so let's create our first method that's gonna be save public void save and in that we are we are gonna add a player frames so this is where important part comes in so you just have to type in capital p player prefs as this is a class and dot set string set string and then you have to give it a key so key is basically the variable name in the value so while getting the variable you have to enter this key and then you will get that variable so if i enter like s1 then it's gonna save an s1 string so here we have to just get like s1 dot text and this is simple because it's string if you want to save float then you have to pass in some parameters so player prefs dot set float then you have to give key for everything so i'm just giving it f1 
and f1 dot hot text now it will show you error cannot convert string to float hmm. so to fix this error you need to just type in float dot place this method over here and then curly bracket open curly bracket close now this will convert uh, try to convert string into float variable so that is for float and the same thing applies to uh, integer player prefs dot set int and key is gonna be i1 comma int dot p a r s e and then you are just gonna type i1 dot t x t text so that is fine now we have to save these things you need to type in player refs dot save and this will save the things okay this is for save method now for clear as i said earlier you need to create public void clear basically you can name anything what you want you can name it and then s1 which is our variable name dot text equals nothing that's what you say and then it will just set the text to nothing then you need to do the same for all of those dot text txt equals and then i1 dot txt equals nothing just don't type in null it will give out a split out the error then for load you have to type in public void load and these are basically for buttons so you can add it in any script but remember the uh, remember the object on which you have added the script so you can access it player prefs dot get string and string key now to get this string which we have saved you need to enter the same key so it will recognize it now you need to store this in variable or you can just directly set the text s1 dot text equals player prefs dot get string i'm just gonna copy this and paste it three more times or two more times and here and here f1 dot text equals get uh, get float f l float and the key will be f1 and um, it's saying that cannot convert float to string so you have to do is you need to type in dot to string uh, convert the thing into string and same thing for this also just let me change the names and the int and dot to string this will convert the thing to string and here also I am. and now here you want to create one more public method for delete and this one is simple public void nearly on and just type in player prefs dot delete all and this will delete all the saves saved in your local drive and this will clear the thing so use it with caution it's it also tells it tells you see use it with the caution 
and um, here the save the script and head back to unity and here we need to do some stuff so here and delete all oh sorry delete all just drag the event system over here and first wait first you need to drag this okay the script is added so just uh, go to functions when you add the object event system this should appear if the script is attached and then delete all so this is the button for end now for load you have to do the same thing just name of your function and it's attached then same thing of the function in event system script this is for save save and for clear also same thing now clear yeah now the thing is you need to add these things in the script you need to give it the value so for string s1 i'm just gonna drag input field under the string object then input field under the float object which i have made input under field under the int object which i have made and now they are just done now i will save this in and if i run this and if i load it it should be like 0 0 there is nothing in it so default is 0 you can change the default by just uh going in here and after you give the key just press comma default value will be there uh, so you can go like 1 2 3 or anything you want for default uh, like coins and stuff like that so i'm not going to change that and if i enter here like 1 2 3 how are you ho oh. so it will remember that string and uh, let's say float is 12.34 and integer is 1 2 3 and i can just hit save and clear this and then i can load it it will load the same thing and if i stop this to prove that i am not just saving in it very it in variable i have to save it in local drive and now if i hit load it will load the same thing but now if i hit delete all or clear delete all now nothing will get loaded see it doesn't works so use this thing with caution and um, yeah hope you understand what i said thank you